Good luck in the box break. Let's pull a monster hit up out of this thing and see what happens. Let's go treasure hunting. We're sifting through, looking for a gem. I'm ready for a super short print like the Expose or the Ultraviolet short print. That's what I'm ready to see. That's a good rookie card to get. Rangers, Josh Jones there for Joe. There's an Aaron Judge, Ninety Eight Tops. Come on, monster. Bo Naylor, rookie card, Technicolor. A lot of our cards are coming out upside down. It's like the first one's upside down. Kind of a strange uh, mix here. I should just keep that one the way that it is Tim Anderson good luck in the box break Nice Spencer Strider. He's a beast. That's right. Just sifting through like an old miner looking for a little nugget. I like those Gold Hunter shows, you know, like the Gold Rush. Nice Mount Castle. We are sifting through. Looking for a nugget. What is this? Boba Okay, nice Boba Shet. It is numbered down to 350 speckle. <laughs> Bo Naylor Refractor. Oh, here we go. It's a rookie auto coming up. Get ready. Get ready. Buckle up. Ho! Will Benson. See any good? Guardians hit in the box break. Will Benson. Nice. 
I don't know. I'll have to Google him in a few minutes or something. See what the deal is. Maybe look him up on eBay. See if he's he's big. I don't think he's he's big, but he could be. I don't know everybody. There's the boxer. Kershaw Prism. So far, this has not been a very great box here. We need a pick-me-up. Maybe, maybe we got a, a big parallel coming out of here or something. So far, this has not been the one. As far as I can tell. There is a negative Tyler O'Neill Cardinals. Titans, Bryce Harper. Diamondbacks, 88 tops rookie. Oh, look at this hit. Oh, my Joe. It's an image variation. This is probably a three or four hundred dollar hit, my guess right off, because I remember seeing these. It might be more. That's definitely the hit of the break. Oh my gosh, Joe. That's a good one to have, man. This is the super short print, I'm almost certain. We're gonna look it up in a minute. That's the super. I knew where something was going to be back in here because it was not the best box and started to get that feeling like, well, there's got to be something getting ready to happen. Okay, Joe, let's see what we got here. A super short print. I'm almost certain it's a super short print, man. This one just says, oh, no, that one says super. Let's see. Let's see the sold stuff. So it's, I, I figured, it, I thought it would be a couple hundred bucks, but I see here it's only selling for like $50. There's 75 Some of this, though, comes down to strategy of when you list it. If you list at the right moment, then it'll end at the right time. There's a lot of strategy to eBay sales. There's the same one that sold for 300. There's one that sold for 200. So some of that can be factored in. There's another one for 200. So mm, I would say you ought to be able to get you know at least a hundred dollars for it if you if you were to list it right. Some of it might depend on how many other people have theirs out there too, you know. Like if if these have all sold and there's they're not flooded in the market, 
then it could go for 300. So I would I would say you know between 80 and 300 dollars is a pretty broad range. But you just it's sometimes it's tricky. It's hard to tell sometimes. So anyway, fun stuff. Rip it open. This tops Chrome baseball. Congratulations. Nice autograph there from our. Let's look at that guy up. Let's look him up. I, I want to link up our closest breaks and make sure everything's real easy to find. A lot of fun ripping open Chrome.